question. If the food police comes knocking at your door, how innocent or guilty would you be of wasting food in your kitchen, especially ingredients for other recipes? Hi, this is Jan from New York City, and I do like to save money. You know, usually on Tuesdays, we talk about saving $10 in and within the grocery store. But this time we're gonna talk about how we can not waste $10 in our own kitchens. Are you kind of sort of guilty of food waste? For example, ingredients that you are using for other recipes. If you are baking and it requires, let's say a lot of egg yolks, the item that you're making, what do you do with the whites? I really wonder, are you tossing them? Uh, what are you doing with them? Here's an idea. If you're having leftover egg whites, for example, or even if it's egg yolks, either way, when it's an egg, you do have the ability, once an egg is cracked, for about the next two days, safely speaking, upon refrigeration, of course, to use those items up. You can make an egg white uh, omelet for a bunch of people. Uh, there are other recipes, I think it's called pavlova. Yeah, pavlova is an item that you can make using a bunch of egg whites. And it, with egg yolks, you can make lemon curd. So that's one way to reduce food waste. And another thing that you can do, if you have leftover pizza dough, whether it's pre-made from, you know, the store-bought brand or the kind you make, why don't you do what a lot of Italians do? <laughs> they take little hunks of that pizza dough and then they fry it. It could be shallow fry. It doesn't have to be deep. Some people think it's always deep. They can, they make a thing called a zeppoli, a zeppoli. You see them usually at Italian feasts. And what you do is you fry this dough, the leftover pizza dough in little balls, and then you just put it in a brown paper bag that's filled with confectionery sugar, shake it up, and you feel like you went to the local fair. Really, really quite good. And you didn't waste the dough. Or you could take that same dough, roll it out, and make miniature calzones with that too. So those are two areas of non-waste. But here's an area that almost everyone, especially grandmas at times, do. With kids, what we tend to do at times is overtly and too generously pour lots and lots of fluids, juices, drinks, sodas. For, well, kids shouldn't have sodas, but... Just saying, but we give kids too much drinks, young kids, because what did they end up doing? They're not going to finish it, and you end up throwing it out down the drain. That's money wasted. It really, really is. A lot of food waste has to do with children. We give overtly abundant meal sizes. We, we're just not acting age or uh, portion control appropriate. So these are little ways that we waste money. We don't realize it's happening. But here's my favorite trick of all, and I've been doing this for years. Every single night, I make a thing that others call garbage soup. I wish they changed the name. And I'm counting on somebody watching this to give me a prettier name for this. What the idea of, quote, garbage soup is, is every single night you get two uh, plastic containers, storage containers, every night after dinner, there's inevitably vegetable left over or meat left over. Take one container for the meat, one container for the vegetable. Put them in and collect every single night of the week for five days, okay? By day six, you have yourself a free soup or stew. Aha. Uh -huh. Talk about avoiding food waste, getting an extra meal or two out of the deal, and that adds up. So there, you didn't even have to go to the grocery store to save money. And never ever forget, if you have stale bread, put it in the freezer. Eventually grind that up and turn that into breadcrumbs. You can flavor up your own breadcrumbs any way you want. So there. So reducing food waste in the kitchen is money in the bank. And in the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing, and I really do appreciate your time. I really, really do. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget to click like, share, and consider subscribing to my channel. Take good care.